man. You it's haven't a been a bit car. boring. It's a boring car. This, as driven exclusively and only by dental hygienists, it was. Oh, yes, and that was driven by Jody Schechter. No, not him. It was um, divorced florists. Yeah, divorced, yeah, divorced florists. Florist. That's what drove yours. And the man. only people who've ever had a Fiat Barchetta, apart from you, were people who had tanning salons. In Surrey. They did. And they yeah, there's a bit of that. Very very there's a bit of that. I am Balthazar, the divorce florist. He is Casper with the a tanning salon. salon. And I'm the other one. What was I? The dental hygienist. Dental hygienist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, look at this place. Is this, like, 5,000 years old? Or is it a current farmhouse? Well, I don't think there's any real way of knowing, because they've been making them the same way since Joseph of Arimathea. So it's entirely plausible that the actual wise men came through here. It is plausible that they stopped on this very spot, yes. This is, um, this is a special night. special night. What does he mean? <laughs> well, it's not bad. <laughs> oh! Oh! I'm not <laughs> going to be a scanner this time. Yes, you are. <laughs> you see, you are. I am, I am. You are. I am, yeah, you are. I Consistently. I wasn't, but I am. <laughs> Close. Uh, I'll look it up. There we go. You oh! <laughs> got the Mazda. <laughs> How do you Americans thought to do this? Oh! Yes! <laughs> Good one, May. Ray's determined, he's determined. You missed me. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Let's try the roll technique. What? No, it didn't work. Here comes the chief. Yeah, that works. That's how you solve yeah. the Middle East problems. <laughs> <laughs> sitting about. Oh, God, it is. The border crossing took hours. I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored. And so Jeremy decided to amuse himself. Asking why he's doing that. Nobody's done this at customs before. If he blows up the clutch or the diff or the he wears out the rear tires, it won't be at all funny. No. I'm bored. We've and been stupid. three hours and ten minutes. I was bored. I listened to some nice music. These men have come out to have a word. <laughs> It's hard to think that Britain has its reputation for global diplomacy, it is, isn't it? It is. What? Come on, Hammond, you have a go. Oh, no, wait. It's a Fiat Punto underneath your plastic body. Yes, and not being driven by a massive yes. idiot. Oh, come on. Um, what else are you going to do? Why do you go and do donuts? Difficult. Why? Low power automatic. Low power automatic. Front wheel drive. That's so you know, much slower than yours. No, faster, faster. Let's just run through. Can we run through a few other things that you haven't got? One. A glass rear window. That Two, you can't see a boot of. big enough to handle all the luggage. Three, a sound system that plays Western music. Do you know I hate you more when you're bored?
soon we came across a historically important military air base. This runway was built by Saddam Hussein and was in fact the first to be captured in all of Iraq by the Americans at the start of the war. This has all the hallmarks here of being that's a start line, isn't it? It looks like a start line to me. Does that look like a start line to you? Yeah, you're thinking of an economy run? Do you know I'm not? Amazingly, the base commander said we could have a drag race. And he even offered to help us film it. I feel like I'm in a pony about to start the Grand National here with my little 1.6 litre engine. Officially, 0 to 60, just over 10 seconds, but that, of course, is the manual. <clears throat> My other big problem, of course, is this was the lightest car of the three, but then I filled that door up with sand, so it isn't anymore. <laughs> And we are away. Oh, come on. And I am pulling into the lead. Damn. Still pulling away. Useless. Still. I've only got 110 horsepower. He's got 130. It's the fastest when it was new. And it looks like it still is today. Yes. And he's won! Yes! Ha! Well done! Ah! Oh. Mind you, James has only just finished. <laughs> Hollow victory. Meaningless. So, Hammond, just to be clear... My class best. Uh, on what possible basis? It says in the Bible, he who shall be first... ..shall be last. That's pitiful. You're lost, except it mine's better looking and faster. I think I can make a very good case for my car, but just let me work on it for a bit longer. <laughs>and this glove there. Then what I'm going to do is simply use the bonnet to keep the uh, spark plug in play. Come on, come on. <laughs> Concrete piece of wood and a glove. This is another of those places that are left in the world that are just as amazing as you thought they'd be when you were nine. And do you know the extraordinary thing as well? Although we're heading from the north to the south for political reasons, the original wise men were heading east-west, but they will have come through this bit of desert. No question, they must have done it on their route. How did they know which star to follow? Because there was a special star at the time. Well, now, you see, there wasn't, James. How do you know? Because it's been proven by astrologers. I was going to say astronomers. Astrologers. Astronomers. No, you, you mean astronomers, I mean not astronomers. You do mean astronomers. I mean astronomers. They just tell you if you're going to have a good week and your they wife's going to leave you. There was, it wasn't a comet or a star as we know it. It was a mystical temporary star hanging to guide the Magi to the birthplace of the infant king. You can't disprove that by astronomy. Astronomy is about the stars that are actually there, not the ones that were placed there for the Magi. Do you know, sometimes, James, you really are ridiculous. Do you believe in the virgin birth as well? No. But you do believe that there was a celestial 
Obviously, event. You can't disprove it by astronomy. Well, you can't disprove the virgin birth. No, well, you can. Well, you... Only in your mind, because you want one to be real and one not to be real. Do you think Jesus walked on water? No. I think it's allegorical. I tell you what. Is that a locust? It's a plague of locusts. It's a sign. It's not exactly a plague of them, is it? So I've got the Holy Trinity of bullet wounds, a plague of locusts. This, I think, is somebody saying that I could be the second coming. Think of the initials. Yeah, I think that it takes a bit more than that.